In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to create a split screen video using masking. We have another tutorial on how to do this using the crop, zoom, and pan controls with the freeform option. But I had a subscriber who had PowerDirector 14 and said, I don't have that option in my copy of PowerDirector. Is there another way to do that? So if you have an older version of PowerDirector or you just like to see a different way to do the same thing, we're going to show you an option using masks to create a split screen video in this tutorial. I have on track one two videos. We're going to take the video of the cyclist what you see here. That will be on our left side when we're all done. And then I click over here and we have another video that will be on the right side. This one I've done some editing on already. I'm going to show you how to use the techniques for the left side and obviously they would be the same for the one you put on the right side of your panel. So the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out where I want the camera focus to be because this was shot with most of the action in the middle of the screen, not on part of the screen. So let me show you a couple tricks in order to make this look like it was shot for half of the screen, not the entire screen. So I'm going to have to do some keyframing on it, both for the position of the video and for the position of the mask. Let's work on the video first. I'll double click on it. That will get me into my PIP designer. So it starts out with a cyclist off screen. That's fine. I'm going to probably want to enlarge this. So I'll click on the minus zoom out button. And then let's see what we can do. I'm going to take it and scale it up just a little bit and move over this way. And now what we see in the rectangular area is where we're going to actually look at the video. You notice I have put grid lines on. If you don't know how to do that, you click on the box in the lower right corner below the preview screen. There's an option that says grid lines. I just did the two by two, which is off our recording screen here. I basically want to know where the middle of it is horizontally. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to track this and we'll start a position keyframe. Then we'll move over a bit. And the cyclist is in the shot here. He starts off over here. I think what I want to do then is take this and drag this to the left. And we're only going to work on the left side of the screen. That's all that's going to be visible. We move over a bit farther. And now he's way too far off, so we're going to move back to the right. And sometimes we'll have to split this depending on how much we want to adjust it. Now that he's in the center, I'll make sure I set a good keyframe there. Move a little bit farther. Looking Okay, still on the left a little bit. I think I'll slide it a little bit over. And we just simply drop keyframes on position, making sure that what we want to be on the center of the left side of the screen is indeed uh, on the left side. So I'll just keep setting a few keyframes here and there. I'll go ahead and finish on this segment and then we'll get to the second part. So now I've set a series of keyframes and I've made sure that the part of the original video that I want to be on the left side focuses on the action that I want to appear there. I'll click on OK when I'm done. And now, if you look at simply at the left side of the screen as we play this, we're going to see that anything on the left side, imagine the line right down the middle of the screen, is going to be what we see on the left side of the video. And so that focuses on that particular part 
of the video as what is going to draw the attention of folks on the left side. That's step number one. Now step number two is I'm going to apply a mask to the video. I also have to keyframe that as well. So I'm going to click on my clip and click on the tools menu and go to mask designer. Your menu may be different if you have an older version of PowerDirector. That gets me into my mask tools. I want to use a mask on the left side so I'll, I'll click on this mask here and we can change the location of it. We want to make sure it covers the left half of the screen. And I'll enlarge it just a little bit. It can be a little bigger is okay, but we don't want it too small. So there is a left half of the video masked. Once again, I'm going to go through and I notice when this changes, my mask moves. So I need to keep going back and resetting that. Move keyframe at a time. And you see the process. All I'm doing is dragging it to the left or right. The mask stays the same size. It applies only to the left part of the screen. And so this will make sure that this is the part that we happen to see no matter where my particular video is. I will pause what I'm doing now that you see the process and then return to the larger issue. When we're done adjusting our mask, and it may take a lot of individual frames to make sure it fits just perfectly, you simply click on OK at the bottom. And now when we play our video, we're going to see that the action we want appears only on the left side and that the mask fully reflects exactly where we have repositioned the framing of it. There's a little bit of jerkiness here. I could add a few more keyframes in the mask and that would adjust for it, but you get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. So we've done the video on the left side. Likewise, we would do the same process on the video on the right side. First of all, we adjust the position and size to get the action that we want and then we apply a mask on the right side. Again we use our guidelines so that we split the screen in two. And then we have the right side and the left side. We simply take the one track, doesn't matter which one, and we put it above or below the other one where we have right and left together. We're going to play this and when we do you see that we haven't done it perfectly but you get the idea. Let me show you what happens. We have the action on the left side that we've controlled, the action on the right side that we've controlled as well. So we know what where the camera focus is going to be and they complement one another. And the masks separate the left from the right. So that's a general picture of what it looks like when you attempt to do a split screen by simply using masking on the left side and then on the right side of your video project.